Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's get a message from the Holy Spirit today. Um, sometimes when I get in a low mood, I like to just channel. Um, it just makes me feel better because, you know, hearing the Holy Spirit channel through me is always really nice. We have justice here, four of pentacles in reverse. I'm intuitively getting somebody is letting a person go and they're angry. Like your, your person is angry. Your person's letting someone go, could be a Libra, and they're angry. They're like, this is righteous. This is righteous judgment. I'm immediately getting that. They're making a judgment call in their life. Can I get more? What's the justice? Strength. Some about like the way that this person is talking now. People are really um, feeling a little bit scared. We have Father of Pentacles. This is a this is a someone else. This is someone else they're talking to. Two of Cups. Someone they're very much aligned with. They used to be. They used to be aligned with. Leo, Scorpio, maybe any earth sign, guys. I feel like they're dealing with an earth sign. This person, your person, is putting a, a third party in their place. Another masculine is what I'm getting. A masculine putting a masculine in their place. It's something about, like, the things they're saying. Can I know more, please, Holy Spirit? What's the strength? Powerful. Powerful. Um, I am hearing your person feels a little bit too powerful, like a little too OP. A little too powerful. Um, that's why the tower is here. They've never felt this empowered. They've never felt this powerful before. They've never seen their words cause so much destruction so quickly. It's just words. It's just words. And they've never seen it happen. Like I'm hearing, I'm hearing dominoes, like bowling pins, like things are just falling because they're speaking. How does this person feel about that? The strength here. Mother of Pentacles. Like they wish they were more gentle. They wish they knew how to be more graceful and delicate because the things that they're saying they feel are causing people to look at them differently. What's the Mother of Pentacles? Eight of Pentacles, Four of Wands. I feel like this person wants to work with you. They want to work with you. I heard level up because something about like you've leveled up recently, ace of pentacles, and you know how to be much more graceful and delicate. You're more graceful and delicate in your words and this person really needs your advice. Four of wands, they wanna be in union with you. They want to be in alignment with you. I don't know why, but I'm seeing the four of wands as an eyeball, you see? I'm seeing it as like a an eye. I don't know why, but I... Somehow they have seen you gracefully evolve into a queen of pentacles. Tell me more. What is this person? Wait, Holy Spirit, just guide my words. That's, that's actually what your person is needing to do. So if you're watching and you think that your divine counterpart is doing this, and this is resonating, telepathically, you need to start telling them, tell God to guide your words. Before you say something, like before you just lash out, because I feel like there are certain times in a day that this person will just go off and they need to say beforehand, like, Holy Spirit, guide my words. Because they're about to lay it out. This person's about to lay it out and they're going to consistently lay it out because this is a, this is a lion, okay? But... It's like they need to hear you say to them because what, for whatever reason, they don't know this yet. They don't know how to do this. They, they, need to hear, they need to say, Holy Spirit, guide my words. God, guide my words. Higher self, guide my words. Whatever the hell. Whatever it is. Um, yeah, because they don't want to keep breaking hearts. This person is too forward. They're too rigid. They're too crass. They're too crass. They're mean sometimes even. They don't want to do that. They want to they want to fight fair. Look at this 10 of wands. They want to fight fair. Wow, here with the wheel of fortune. It's like they want to express that they're burdened. They want to unload on these people. Like that's what they want to do. They want to feel better. Your person is is needing to feel better and so it's almost like they're just bleh, word vomiting to people and it's like yeah, I'm seeing this as like a cat hairball. You see the lion? I'm seeing it as a hairball. Before they know it, they cause damage. Before they know it, their their whole um, 
Public image is ruined. They feel like their image has been ruined. Tainted. Yeah. What's this Father of Pentacles in reverse? See, look, there is someone in their environment that fucking deserved it, though. I What I keep hearing is, like, somebody is being put in their place. Like, it's supposed to happen, but it's just supposed to happen a little bit more delicately, a little bit more gracefully. And I'm hearing a little bit more secretively as well. So I don't know if there's, like, a spiritual element. Like, this person, something about... Your person needs to start doing this at a spiritual level, not so much in like a vulgar, you know, with speech, maybe much more telepathically or maybe much more um, that maybe that's the clue here. Doing it telepathically would really save their image, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, judgment. You can't make it up. This this king of pentacles in reverse is go is has every right to be treated. Well, not treated like this, but every right to be talked to, just not talked to like this. Your divine masculine or your divine feminine is really having a hard time right now. Not laying it on thick and really like fucking this person up, okay? Because they know they can. They don't want to. They want to be like you. They want to be more graceful, more delicate. But this king of pentacles in reverse is under judgment. And you best believe that whoever you are dealing with, your, your person here, they have a third-party masculine under intense hellfire. But, but it's fucking them up. It's like, it's not just hurting the person. It's not even meant to hurt. It's meant to draw boundaries with that person. It's not meant to hurt them. They shouldn't be trying to hurt anybody. And that's the thing. They don't want to be like that. They don't want to hurt anybody. They want to be like you, much more graceful here. They want to hold back. That's what I'm hearing the Four of Pentacles was on the split. They want to hold back. They don't want to be this aggressive. So I'm hearing your person say, it's a thin line. How do I do that? How do I cast judgment on this person? But yet, like, be kind or, you know, be be graceful or delicate you know how do i do that how do i do that because your person is saying like every day when this happens they feel shittier and shittier about themselves they're starting to hate themselves for the way that they're treating this king of pentacles in reverse yeah i, I heard i don't want to be one of them i don't want to be them eight of pentacles please father of swords this person needs your knowledge they're like they're coming across a little too cutthroat they don't like it they don't like being like this I'm hearing I'm starting to resemble my father. I just heard that. Oh, shit. And then I also heard a narcissist. They're starting to resemble a narcissist. They don't like it. See, that's the difference between real narcissists and just people who are like, I don't know, around narcissists. Is like this person actually has empathy. This person actually wants to change. Whoever I'm reading for, Magician Two of Cups. The devil in reverse, like they don't want to be like that. So at least, at least you got that going for you. What's the four of wands? Again, I'm getting union. They want union. Page of pentacles. They want to learn from you. They want to learn how to control their anger. Yeah, see, it's something about like public outbursts is what I'm getting here. Six of wands. Because your person does something in the spotlight. And it's like they need to hush hush a little bit more. I'm hearing their judgment is well placed. This King of Pentacles. Oh yeah, that person is kind of deranged. Like, I don't know. There's something about that person. I, I, like, they are mean. They are cruel. That person is cruel. That person is cruel. So it's almost like your person tunes into that energy to, in order to like... I heard shock them. They're trying to shock value. They're trying to get some, I don't know. It's like, they tune into that third party, that masculine. And the next thing they know, they've become them. Mean, harsh. And then in that third party, like pulls them into an argument or a fight or something. And so it's like, they lose their footing. They lose any sort of, win that they would have had 
Because, like, and I just keep hearing this, guys. Whatever judgment your person has on this person, this third party, this father of pentacles in reverse, I'm telling you right the fuck now, it is well-placed. Not only is it well-placed, but it is divine. It is divine judgment. But the problem is how they're approaching that. And how it's, it's messing up the way people see them. Like, how are people seeing this? I heard emperor, so this could be your divine masculine. How are people seeing this emperor? Five, look at this, five of wands. Just like combative, kind of a douche canoe. They see them like really super combative. That's what I'm getting here. Willing to start fights, pick fights. And it's not even really that. Look, judgment. Look, you cannot make that shit up. Judgment, five of pentacles, and the justice. Because again, it is very well placed. I actually feel like that would relieve someone I heard. Somebody here, you might have thought this masculine would never leave that other masculine. I heard the name Nick, Nicole, Nicola, something like that. You might have thought that they would never leave that. I heard this person could be a friend on a video game too, I just heard. That's very random, but I heard that. Marcus as well. Delilah or Deli? Deli? Dalia or something like that. Um, justice, judgment. See, I told you it's well placed, guys. Five of Pentacles. Like this, your masculine is supposed to be booting this person. They are, they, and they are doing it. But it's like, bro, every time they fucking open their mouth, people are like, "Who the fuck says shit like that? Why are you talking like that?" So, spirit, tell me, tell me, is this? just projection like does this masculine feel bad like because it's true that he's being a dick or is it just um like some people's judgment of them like a perceived judgment like i want to know if this is really how just people see them or if this is how your person really truly is emperor girl mm. told you I saw the emperor shit in fact I feel like a group of people are saying I told you I saw the emperor in him I told you I saw I told you I told you this would happen there are other people talking about your person saying like I told you this would happen I told you good or bad I'm hearing both I'm hearing some people are like I told you I told you he was the divine masculine fucking called it called it knew it would happen and then others are saying wow yeah I knew he was a tyrant I knew he'd be, he'd be mean like that. I knew he'd be, it's both. It's both. My question was, are people just seeing him as mean? And he's really actually like doing everything right? Or is it that he really is just being an asshole and I'm getting both because it's a perceived, because it's perceived. It's what do you say? Is happening divine feminine it's what do you say divine masculine doing this it's what do you say that's the problem here this divine masculine has not said I'm doing this the right way so they're accruing more negative karma because when they speak they're like they're taking on other people's projections of who they are instead of making their mind up for themselves saying nah nah what I said is what I said you don't like it tough shit period and then walking the fuck away they're not doing that that's the problem this is where i heard fear mongering people are fear mongering your person like i dare you to say that again because look everybody's looking at you like a jerk yeah i dare you to say that again this is where the divine feminine comes in i guess what is this what what is what is what is needed strength look i'm telling you this person all they have to do six of pentacles be dealing with an Aries, a Leo, a Libra, or a Scorpio. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Death. Why? This person, okay. This is gonna make them go through an ego death. Um, Cause it's like, the way that people are seeing them
it's making them compare what their intentions were, what their intention is behind it, their outbursts versus what everybody else is saying they are. A narcissist, a tyrant, just a jerk, just somebody who calls judgment on people for no reason. It's like they're actually going through an ego death right now. This is karma for them. This is karmic for this is karma for your person. For whatever they've done in the past, like they needed to handle this. This is a true leader. This is an emperor here. They needed to get their ass handed to them. So they, this is what is what's happening. It's almost like a, a public outcry. Like there's yeah, like people expressing disbelief. Like, oh, I can't believe he said that. I can't believe she said that. Oh my God. Oh my God. But then there's others that are like, wow, I never thought in a million years they'd finally release the burden. There it is. Ten of Wands. This, this, this King of Pentacles is the burden. Somebody very materialistic. They only care about looks. They care about how this masculine appears to the community. Tell me more about that Father of Pentacles. King of Pentacles in reverse, guys. That's a King of Pentacles in reverse. 1616, the hangman Pisces. See, it's all about like public image and keeping this masculine stuck. Five of Swords in reverse, very docile, humble, almost like too humble. Never wanting to start a fight. Never wanting to just, I'm hearing egg people on. I'm hearing this. If you look, it's a king of pentacles versus a motherfucking emperor. I'm hearing this man say, don't talk to me like that. Oh, hell no. And then they've got like an entire community that agrees with them. It's judgment for this emperor. It's judgment day for your person. Judgment is right next to the emperor here. It's judgment day for your person. Like not only is it judgment day for this fallen king of pentacles here, right? But it is judgment for your divine emperor as well. What else? They're making, they're making them afraid of like saying things, exposing things I'm hearing. Like, wow, I don't know how the hell my shirt just got like that. What? Something about, yeah, looks. I'm hearing like, I'm hearing looks like that, 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 that third party cares about looks or like how it would look to be with you. Like, how will that look? How would that look? But this is a king versus an emperor. What the fuck? It's just that your emperor doesn't know yet how to be, I don't know, stern and stick with it. Stick to his guns. Six chakra. Archangel Metatron. So you got the third eye chakra here. What is being seen? What's being shown here, Holy Spirit? Deceit, bitch. Come on. That's crazy. This is that pentacles guy. This is this is that king of pentacles. Look at all the money there and everything. Oh, that's what it is. So he's starting to be, your, your emperor is starting to see that somebody just like either cares about money. I heard charismatic. They want your person charismatic, friendly, bubbly, because it's good for business. It's good for the morale. It's good, like, okay, so I don't know why, but Spirit is showing me that your person is like, and this might not be for everybody, but this is an example. Like, your person on the video game, and there's like a whole chat party of other people. And it's like, they really like your person. Bubbly, vivacious, energetic, funny, like crowd pleaser, yeah? Because it's good for whatever they have going on. Tell me more about the deceit that this masculine is seeing now. Eight of Cups. The deceit is that they won't let them walk away. That is the deceit. I'm noticing here the Justice card and this Eight of Cups in a different deck. They both have the same cloak you know the same robe i don't know why i'm getting that oh because he's wearing shit guys what the fuck what the fuck did you know red is the lowest vibrational color because it's it well it represents the root chakra so lowest vibrational color so whoever this king of pentacles is 
They want this guy or gal stuck in a really low frequency, like a really low, dense place. Like being a, being like a court jester, being like a happy, happy-go-lucky, fun guy all the time. So your masculine is seeing some shit, honey. What? What? Tell me more. That like, yeah, yeah, I heard that they're trapped. They can't walk away. They're seeing that they're trapped and they can't walk away. So what now? What now then? Queen of Cups. They need your more gentle approach because like it's the only way to get out of it. So it's almost like they're surrendering to the idea that they need you. Which is weird because you would think, I'm hearing your emperor say like, it's counterintuitive. It doesn't make sense. Be more gentle to win a war. That doesn't make sense. It's like that. See the tower, you see? This masculine only knows how to fucking cause damage. Overspeak, get angry, frustrated, slam doors, punch cabinets, shit like that, right? They don't know how to be, they don't know how to win. <laughs> they don't know how to win uh, um, an argument. They know how to argue. And they definitely know how to be judged for an argument from everyone, but they don't know how to like fucking win an argument. They're starting to really get this. I think they're starting to understand they need you. Nine of swords. Yep, that my hands are tied. That's what I heard. I'm starting to see that my hands are tied. That they want me bound and gagged and shut up. Like they want me to shut up. So, Holy Spirit, why does my viewer need to know this? Four of cups, that's a card of rejection. Let's just see what that is. Four cups. Could be boredom, stagnation even. Like feeling like, I don't want to do anything in a day. I don't even want to get out of bed. Like, ugh, I don't, I don't give a shit. That's how your person normally feels. Wow, the world. But then I heard, but then you came around and you showed me a different world. Like it's, it, it's like you're showing them grace is how you win something. Grace is how you win public support. That's what I just heard. And it's all about the public eye. It's all about public image. That's what I'm getting here. That's how you win this fucking battle. That's how you, I heard that's how you rally up the troops. That's how you win a fucking fight. That's how you win a war. You have to have support. And this person, they're, 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 they're convinced that every time they speak, every time your person speaks, they lose more and more supporters. They lose more and more people who should give a shit, who do give a shit, but they don't have a leader. Here you are, viewer, about to lead a leader. Be the leader's right-hand man or woman, whatever. Can I know more? What's this, uh, what's this new world that is being shown here? A whole new world. I just heard that from Aladdin. Eight of Wands. Oh my God, I just sang and there's the communication card. Like if any card in the deck would be about singing, there it is. A whole new something, something, something. I can't think of it. Three Cups. Five of Swords, The Fool. Like, it can be fun. Like, it doesn't have to be heavy, heavy all the time. There's something about, like, God, what is, what the fuck <laughs> is my eye? There's something about, yeah, I'm getting, like, evil eye here from a third. Look, the new world you're showing them is how to speak in front of people to rally up troops. Five of Swords is a war, okay? I'm getting, like, you you make people feel ready for that. And this, this group, for whatever reason, they're at war with something. They're at war with some deceitful ass people, okay? They need to break free from a tyrant here. And this is the new world you're showing them. You're showing them how to speak to a crowd to garner support. That's what I'm hearing, to garner support. Hmm. A new fantastic point of view. The full card. Oh, come on. Come on, Jesus. 
girl, I just said evil eye. Did I fucking not just say that? Look at this. I pick up this deck and Envy is on the bottom. The new friend. See, you are free to do whatever the fuck you want to do. And they, this, your person knows that Envy and evil eye comes your way. And yet you still do it anyway. Whatever it is that you do, they need to learn how to do it. I think your person's really close to surrendering. That's what I'm seeing here. Can I know more? Like, what is happening with this person? Are they coming forward towards you, the, the viewer? Indecision. Mm, all right. Courage in reverse. They're still lacking some courage, so maybe that's what you need to know. They're still indecisive. Their intuition is saying that you are the right one for this job, but they are lacking a little bit of courage right now. Mainly, intuitively, what I'm feeling with this first card out that you had was the strength card. I mean, this is a lion with a rose in his mouth. I almost feel like these people don't allow your person to be romantic. Fun, flirty. Like, like they, they, he's allowed to be fun. But to almost like, as a court jester, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting like a clown. Someone who is a clown. Like does things to make everybody laugh but like nobody takes them seriously then that's the thing they only they have one job and that's to make people i heard that's to entertain the masses but your person's like i don't want to entertain these people anymore i want to lead these people now so how do you transition from being a court jester a joke a circus clown to well, a strong and fucking ferocious leader. Like, how do you do that? How do you do that? How do you make that, how do you make that shift? And I feel like whoever I'm reading for right now, like you've already made that transition. You already did it. And I heard like you have the public support for a reason. Like your person's starting to notice this, but I do see that they're still a little bit, um, they don't, and still something about courage here. They're not finding the courage. They're not finding the courage just yet. This is why spirit told me to tell you, tell them telepathically, ask for God to guide your steps. Ask for God to guide your words. To get you out of this bind, start asking the Holy Spirit to guide your steps. Purity, yes. So that you can have more pure words, so that you can say shit that actually matters. It will mean something. It will, it will prove that you are the leader you are. Girl love it. This emperor is about to know that the divine channels through them if they ask for it first. They will say shit that they don't even know why they're saying it. Like, for instance, say, um, say they've never learned something about this King of Pentacles, but they say something that shocks them to the fucking core. It scares this person. You know, it's given um, that, that Bible story what is it? Um, Moses? When he's like, let my people go, it's Pharaoh. This, this king of pentacles represents Pharaoh, that very egotistical dictator, right? And, but Moses would say shit that would scare him to his core to let his people go. My God, this is so biblical. Guys, I'm getting like Moses vibes here, okay? Okay. I think Moses and Aaron, I think are the two that in that Bible verse, in that Bible story, I think. Aaron helps Moses. And Mo I don't know. Given twin flame vibes. All new world. That's what I feel like singing all of a sudden. Like, your emperor is about to know a whole new motherfucking world, okay? Look at this will. Will on the bottom here. A new fantastic point of view. We have darkness. It's like the Holy Spirit is about to give this emperor a lot of forward, like, oh, I heard charge. Like they're about to, they're about to be in charge. Very dominant. And it's like, they're about to call out the darkness in this King of Pentacles. They're gonna call it out, but they're gonna call it out the right way. And it's not going to offend people. It's gonna inspire and uplift people. The only person it will offend is this person with a huge ass ego. So a little, Tr trick and technique guys um because this is already a divine masculine it's just that they're not doing the right thing in how they speak so ask them to 
pray beforehand. Like it, it doesn't have to be like a huge fucking prayer. Like it's not, it's not even that. It's just, all right, God, guide my words. Boom. Lay it out. Slay him in the spirit, honey. Really? This emperor needs to know that. So I suggest you tell them telepathically because I don't know that you're in union. I don't know that you're telling this person verbally because I don't know that you guys are together. This actually looks like this guy's stuck. So I don't know. But yeah, this is like, I heard they're about to know today. I heard showstopper. Your emperor's about to be a motherfucking showstopper. I heard they're about to know today. That's what I heard. It could be literally today. Something about the fourth. I saw the fourth. They could either be born on the fourth or they would. Oh, shut the front door, bro. Picked up this deck, started shuffling. There it is, 444. Four, four. Something about the fourth. I don't know. A whole new world. Renewal, batch. They might be contacting you on the fourth. Girl, communication is on the bottom. I swear to everything. I swear to everything. When you ask for God to guide your steps, this shit starts happening. Magic. That's what happens. Fucking magic. Magic happens when you ask for God to guide your life. I'm telling you. This person might contact you really soon. Clarity. Life purpose. They might They might know that uh, they're Moses and you're Aaron. <laughs> or you're Moses and they're Aaron. I don't know, guys. But you guys are like leading people. Okay. And I heard that this King of Pentacles keeps telling your emperor that they're leading people astray. They're not. It's a mind fuckery. That's what I'm getting. It's a, it's a, it's just, it's not, it's not real. It's an illusion. So they are going to be contacting you soon and telling you they have clarity about what your guys' life mission is. Okay. All right. Your life purpose. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. They have some sort of insight guys. That's how much God loves you both. And I love you as well. Thank you for being here. What beautiful reading. I can't wait to do another one. Let's see what else Holy Spirit has for us. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.